Hi guys, it's Chris Wilkie here from FBA Master, and what I'm going to do today is show you how I find items using OA X-Ray on Toys R Us. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's find some deals and let's make some money. So, I go to ToysRUs.com, and you know the first place everyone goes is going to be the clearance. I mean. That's just the way people go. They're going to be drawn there. So you're going to find your most competition there. You will find lower prices, but a lot of the competition is going to go right there. So what you want to do is take a step above that and find other areas where you can make money. So personally, I like shipping light items that have good return and can sell pretty quickly. So let's go into action figures, and I'm going to say see all. Okay. So what it's going to pull up here is it's going to pull up the featured categories. It's going to do all this stuff, but we got top sellers. So my guess is that top sellers is going to be stuff that you can buy and it's going to be selling pretty quickly. So low sales rank. So I'm going to open up the top sellers here and you see that I've got a bunch of items, bunch of them. I got 50. Now the old way of doing things, I have to open each one of these, I would have to find what I needed to do, or so I'd do this, I'd open it, and I'd go, okay, well, this one's going to be out of stock, so this is going to be a bad example, but just at least some what I would do. I'd look at this and go, oh, a pop for Star Wars. Okay, let's wait for Price Blink to come up here, or Invisible Hand. If that doesn't work, let's highlight this stuff right here. Let's click it. Let's go to Amazon USA. You see it's in stock on September 12th. Let's see where the price rank is here. It's up there. I think this is a great pre-order. Great, great pre-order. Just my opinion. But I'd have to do all of that, plus run the FBA calculator, plus do all that stuff. It took forever. So what I do now is I look at these, and I go to my magic OA X-ray button up here. I'm just going to hit it, and it's going to start working its magic here. It's going to tell me if there's items I need to look at, if there's not, what we should be doing, all that jazz. So, that kind of makes sense? Yeah, it should be pretty easy. So, I like to have my parameters set, so nothing higher than 150,000, and I want at least 40% return. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my buys. And this is going to sort it all out for me. So, all I'm going to look for here is go, okay, well, that's just one of those guys. This looks like, let's take a look. So, the toy shed for six color action figures. So, they're going to have six different colors here. Uh, we're not, this is a single, so no go on that one. We're going to pass. So, if I wanted to see what it would really be like, all I do here is I type in six. I'd actually lose money on this one. So let's go here. We got a GI Joe Devastation Pack, Devastation Action Figure Set. Let's click this open. Click this one open. Let's see if these guys are the same thing. Thirty-nine dollars. This is out of stock, though. Ooh, it's a good one to keep an eye on. If you're outsourcing locally, you've just found something that if you can find these, they're selling for thirty-nine dollars, and it is a profit of fifteen forty-nine. Make yourself a list. So what I do now is I go over here, I scroll over, and I hit add to my buy list. The plus sign. Now it's going to be in my buy list here, and I'm going to see, okay, Chris, I want to look for this. I can also export this list to a CSV file and print it out. Or you can take a screenshot and print it out and take it with you so you know what you're looking for. Let's go back to the main tab here. Scroll down a little more. No sales rank here. 36 looks like GI Joe is pretty uh, popular right now $61 for this set I wouldn't have guessed GI Joe is popular 6150 let's look at the sales rank here 36,000 I think that's great let's see here oh looks like you should be looking for this guy in a store too so just saying now another trick I use here is since I'm looking for this I highlight this and I go to eBay eBay Toys R Us has a store. Note to self, think that one through. Um, keep that in the back of your head. And what I'm going to do is, let's see here. Click this one right here. Not a bad price. I think we can do better though. So let's go to Toys R Us. Right there. You'll see up top here, 
course it's in the store. You want that one. Toys R Us on eBay. Shop now. Great, great, great. They do put some stuff in here that is not found anywhere else. So let's put in G.I. Joe set. It's kind of what we were looking for. There's the below zero set. So that would be one that would be interesting to look at. Cobra Commander Pack. You just scroll through these guys. Let's see, what was the one we were looking for? The Vanishing. Let's go back up here. Let's do Vanishing. Not on here, but that is one thing you can do. You could look across to find it and sell it on other platforms. Okay, so now, now that I've done this once, we're going to go back here and we're going to go to the next page. So I would hit next. Oh, I don't want an email address. Sorry. It only pulls the top 50 in here. Wrong one. Okay, so now I'm going to go to another category. Let's go to building block sets. Let's go to Legos. I know Legos are something that can hold their value very well. So I just want to see all of my Legos everywhere. So I could pick a certain category if I want. So let's go here. Let's see all. Screw it. Let's just see everything here. I'm going to increase it to the highest amount of stuff per page. So I'm going to increase this up to, I believe, 96 is what I just clicked. And it's going to start loading it up. 96, 96. We'll just wait. Let's see, what about 72? I can also type in 96 up here and it's going to show me. I wonder if I could do that. Sorry, this is a 150. You can. Little trick. <laughs> Sorry, this is kind of cool. So, say I know there's 697 of these, but I do right here. All I go up here is type in 697 enter this is all this is what you get for knowing a little bit of code but you're going to see it's going to show 697 of them per page and it's just going to load 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 it's pulling the whole catalog in here trick you're never going to find anyone that doesn't know the code which is sad that i know this stuff so i'm going to hit my little button and this is going to take it a little bit it's going to think it's going to think it's going to think we're going to let it go let's go here to Let's go down to shop more toys. Let's go to preschool. Eh. Let's do some dolls. Let's see the most popular dolls. So I'm going to go in here. We got the top 50 again. So let's see if there's anything in the code I can switch. It's sad what I know. It's really sad. Let's go ahead and run this one too. It's going to get going. Let's see how this one's going here. It's running and it's going to keep. This is going to take a little bit. There's 600 items it's got to find and pull from things. So we'll just let it sit. We'll start making money other ways until it's done. So let's go for the positive return on investment here. And you're going to see this. I was finding this girl earlier. This is just a great little find. Five thousand. You're going to make two dollars and thirty-four cents on a three dollar and ninety-eight cent investment. And very good rank. Toy organizer case. I like this rank in toys personally. I'd buy it. Let's go down here a little bit more. Plush mittens. Let's open this. Let's open this. Oh, it's a kitty cat. Let's see the kitty cat. Oh, it's a meow meow cat. Sorry. Here's a $5 toy. It's their exclusive. I love when it's an exclusive. It's just me. But also, I'm going to run the thing on here real quick because it has the other sales ones here. So watch this. This is a cool little trick that not a lot of people know about. I've been finding these things out. So we're going to let that run here. Let's go back. See, it ran and it's pulling any of the information on the page. So let it do its thing. Let's go back over to the Lego one. Positive return on investment. Let's go. And it's going to take it a little bit because there's 600 items. It's still working on these guys. So boom. Now I have a list of Legos that I know are going to sell because their ranks are great. The pumpkin, look at this. It's the same freaking pumpkin. Let's open this guy, open this guy. You can make $1.66, which isn't a lot, but it is a 27% return on something that retains its value, which I love Legos. Value only goes up. They only run them for a certain amount of time. We're just, we're brick investing right now. You guys don't even know it. So this one probably, let's see here, it's been on the market for about two years, probably got three more years left, or a year or so left on the market. It's going to retire, and if anybody ever wants this, they're going to have to buy it from you. 
interesting way to look at it. Let's look down here a little farther. Ooh, Castle Getaway. Looks like I can make $7. What store is this on? It's on eBay. Eh, we're going to ignore the eBay one. But here's something else to do. $15.99.21, we're going to pass just because that is pulling in the eBay price. See, same thing here. This is going to pull in eBay. It's already open. So just, just ignore that one. Let's see here. 79 we pulled in eBay again. It was in a box. be great. It's just a little figure, though. This is interesting. It's an X motor. It doesn't have a rank, but this could be a shadow listing. So let's take a look here. $9.99. Got any reviews? No reviews. I'm not, not digging that. Four of these guys. Oh, wait. It's a set of them, so you'd have to buy the set. Don't get discouraged when you see that. I don't see any great Legos. Really don't. Legos are hard. That's, that's one thing you get. Now we go back. This was our this was the toys. Let's go back to this one. Sports car. Let's see what we got here. 1348. It's out of stock. Okay, well, what you guys are seeing here is the way I go about doing this. Now, one other thing I want to show you is raise or gift card granny. So I'll go to raise. Raise, I want to see what toys. Eh, go away. Okay, so these guys, I can get 10.2% off, 7% off for sure. I can definitely get that off. So let's go back to dolls. Actually, let's go to games and puzzles. Board games, they fit in stuff easily. Let's go in here. Let's go to all of the family ones. Let's go to all of the trivia. I'm a trivia junkie. Just so you know, Bible sequence is a little strange. Let's show 96 a page. There's only 51 here, so it's going to show them all. Let's hit the button. And let's go and say we bought this gift card. I'm going to put in a 7% discount onto this. It's going to start readjusting my prices here. And as of right now, it looks pretty much like uh, board games may not be the best area for me to be in. So we're going to close that out. Let's go back to Toys R Us. Let's go over to Home. You can do this in, in everything. So you just go through and start picking out what you want to look at. Let me show you clearance, for instance. So there are 2,000 items in clearance. Here's the little trick I use. We pull up 96. Go up here. We're going to... Oh, Sorry, type in 2,000. There's 2,000 clearance items. Hit go. Now, this is going to start pulling it up, and you're going to be like, oh, my Lord, it's breaking my computer. This is so slow. But it's going to show all 2,000 items. So instead of going through each individual item like I used to do, now I'm just going to close all these out, and we're going to hit the magical OAX button. I'm going to call it OAX. That's what I personally like to call it. And we're just going to let that one sit for a little bit, okay? It's got to think. It's got to pull. We're going to pull up a Toys R Us again, and I'm going to show you one other aspect that I use this in. So let's go to, for instance, let's go to Star Wars. This will be a good one to kind of look at here. The reason I'm pulling this up is if I want to find what the hot items are to go shopping in the store, it's great for me to pull up the new Star Wars toys, because I know there's going to be hot. And you may be ungated in these. You may not. That's fine. I pull it up. I see there's 194 items for sale. So I'm going to pull this up. So now I want to know what I should go look for in the store. Let's go ahead and run this. Say hi to Carl, everyone. Carl says hi. He loves you all. Now we look over here. It's still processing. Let's run it again just to make sure it's pulling information in. 2,000 is a lot for it to pull in. It's going here. Now I've got to warn you, my computer... 
has been notoriously slow today. So if this, this should not take as long for everybody else, but today it's just, it's on the struggle bus. So when it's these many items, so let's cut this back down to like the top 150 so we can be a little more manageable here. Okay, let's run this. Still thinking, still thinking. We'll let it go. Um, this is what you do. You go in here and let's see. I'm not going to do these down. Okay, so this is the Star Wars. Yeah, this is Legos again. Star Wars. We're back in Star Wars. So what I want to do to find some of these items that are there, and that's pulling up my 2000 list, so it's going. What I want to do is currently unavailable on Amazon. I want to find those items that Amazon doesn't have in stock. Now, you would be wondering, Chris, this makes no sense. Why would you be doing this? For instance, let's open up this guy. Let's open up this guy. Let the computer think. It's currently unavailable. This is an Air Hogs. You're looking for this item. Ooh, look. That's kind of cool. So let's go here. It's in stock. So you can drop ship. It's a good idea. Um, I also think this is a very good idea too. You could drop ship this puppy or you could buy it and sell it. It's a thousand in sales rank. If you're approved in Star Wars, why not list it? If you get it, go to the store and pick it up or ship it to yourself online. Get Shop Runner that can get you that stuff really quickly. That's how I use it in reverse to find the items that are out of stock so I can buy them and fulfill that need. It shows you the difference in the marketplace. So you can do that on any of these. Um, like I, that's my favorite button when I'm looking at hot toys. Great for quarter four. Love it. See, this one's out of stock. It's a flamethrower, dude. There's a bunch of them. If you sell this, I mean, it's a 94 in sales rank. You put that freaking thing online. Let's see here. Let's open this real quick. You put that freaking thing online, I guarantee you're going to sell like 20 of them in a minute. Not guaranteed. Never say guarantee in this business, but... That's one thing to use it for here. So let's look at this one that was our big list. Like I said, it was working for a while. I want anything that has 150,000 or less and a return of 40 or more. My buys. Let it go. It's going to start sorting these guys for me. Now remember, since this is so big, it's going to take so long to do it. But it's just going to go. We can also sort by positive ROI. Then I have this humongous list of items that I can start sorting through. It saves me that initial time. So that's how I go about sourcing on Toys R Us. And my computer is going to be extremely slow because this is a large amount of data. Um, this would be the time I'd go get myself a nice drink, come back, be ready to buy some stuff, get things ready, buy my gift cards, etc. So I hope this has helped. See, it's, it's even timing out on me because it's so much information it's doing here. But this is for your help. If you have any questions, you can leave them below. You can put them in the FBA Master Group. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you can make some money.